Phoenix Wright, a Saturny. Remember that time you beat Luke at me? Phoenix Wright, a Saturny. I won't be beheaded if you defend me. That was for Parlor Ghost. <laughs> Oh, I was I was going to record that separately, but uh, now it lives on the internet forever. <laughs> One last time, into the breach of justice. The, the, the breach of justice. I'm Miles. You're in trouble. It was confusing. It made me uncomfortable. Well, Jim, that's your problem. Hi, Dick. I'll come back later. No, wait, Dick. What is it? Got a lot of nerve. This is the last time. Oh my god, evidence law! Evidence law! <laughs> Remember evidence law? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Are we going to introduce the book of evidence law as evidence against the rules of evidence law? Because I think that would be funny. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Okay. This is a nom. There are rules. about evidence law. Rule number one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the, of the police department. Rule number two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. That's it. That's evidence law. Rule number three. Don't fall in love. Rule number four. We don't talk about fighting. Etc. Etc. But that's it. Those are the two rules. No evidence without the approval of the police department, unless it's relevant to the case on trial. That's it. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. Well, you know, we're, we're gonna get her off somewhere. trial today hasn't begun yet. <laughs> Emma Sky found... Yep, yep, Emma did do that. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, Dick. We're taking down a cop. We're taking down the dirtiest cop there is. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. Out there, what well, is orange blazer, fancy red cross tie? Oh boy! It's time to bring this case to an end. All right, let's go. Let's go. They do a good job building the tension. I'm hyped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this man. Boom! Court will now reconvene for the trial of Ms. Lana Sky. Inquiry. Yup. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for the news, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, poor Miles. Oh, if you're going down, you might as well go down like a bastard, right? This is where the prosecution calls forth a witness, but, um, 
see there's some concern that you may have a... Uh... Hmm. <laughs> may have manipulated the witnesses. Well, that is a thing that you do. Like, we're supposed to play this case at the end of the first game where we establish that Miles is a lying bastard. Everyone's been talking. The prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. Well, that's highly irregular in Neo San Francisco. In America, that's just how trials run, but... There's no precedent for what you're proposing. It's a very effective one. We'll prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. It, sure. Alrighty. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. We're gonna get it. We're, we're risking our lawyer health on the, hey player, player, do you realize that you need to call Gant here? Player, do you realize you need to call Gant? Cause you know, the game is testing me here. Hey player, do you realize that you need to call the real, true, honest murderer, Mike Meekins? No. Uh, player, do you realize that you need to call the real, true, honest murderer, Jake Marshall? No? Alright, fine, player, do you realize that you need to call the real, true, honest murderer, Damon Gant? Come here, Damon. It'll be fine. Exclamation point fine for Damon Gant. <laughs> yeah! Damon Gant! Rage Jazzy is here, Ghosty's here, Bogsy Sports Pun. Thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Mr. Gant has first hand knowledge of the crime. Ooh. He would also be unlikely to be manipulated by Edgeworth on account of how he hates Edgeworth's guts. Oh boy. Oh to be that bailiff. That's a hell of a th that's a hell of a thing for the bailiff to do. Just go up to the chief of police and say, "Um, excuse me, sir, we're um you're you're needed in the courthouse, sir. There's um there's a matter of headings which we need you to come through, but definitely not yours, sir. Phoenix Wright is not definitely planning to plan B you or anything. No, no, certainly not. Don't ask me why the bailiff is posh and British here. It's just, it, it's a thing. Well, too bad. I didn't call you. Dear Edgeworth, I hate your stinking guts. You made me vomit. You're the scum between my toes. Love, Damon Gant. Ah. Oh, Miles isn't having it, Damon. Acting chief. Hmm. That time, that's not what, that was, a, that was an accident. Hmm. Or both. It could be both. Could always be both. He's sitting here on the witness stand, taunting the attorney with the, yeah, I did it, but you can't do it, so fuck you. That's not a good defense. That's like, he should be... <laughs> oh. You should be more offended that we're accusing you of this murder we all know you did, Damon. <laughs> I 
am once again pulling up for the finale of Ace Attorney. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify? That seems dumb. Certain risks? Ooh boy. This turns out to be a big waste of time. Don't say I didn't warn you, moi. What are you gonna do, get me disbarred? Fire Miles? Okay. All right, Damon, what do you got? Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. Power outage didn't help either. Mm -hmm. She had already arranged the crime scene. Hmm. Poor Neil. Mm-hmm. Better hit him hard and fast. Ooh. Wonder if that's the game telling me to just go straight for a contradiction here. Yeah, the power outage didn't help either. Went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Well, if any of these statements is going to be an immediate contradiction, it's going to be this one. This piece right here is what established that the unstable jar was relevant to SL9, and the last piece of this jar was found in your safe. So, yeah. Sucks to be you, Ganty. Mm-hmm. Was discovered in your safe. We didn't tell you that we robbed your safe, but uh, we robbed your safe, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, we also robbed your desk. We robbed your safe and your desk. Mm-hmm. They're both concrete proof that you played a part in the false investigation. Ha 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 ha! Take that, buddy. I've beaten Worthy many times. I was, yes. Wait, are you gonna... Are you gonna note that... Uh-oh. Oh, is, is he finally gonna point out that I'm not actually a police invest, investigator and that I probably shouldn't just, you know, pocket things I find? Uh-oh. Not good. He's accusing me of forging evidence. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, poor gumshoe. Yeah. Yeah! For once the judge comes down hard in our favor! Yeah, tell us it's five, Damon. We know. Jar fragment and a list. Yeah, but we didn't. Can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. Uh... Can we? Probably not, no. They were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worth... There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Um... 
rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. I mean... Should have been more careful to observe protocol. <laughs> well, you know what, buddy? You can you can put me on trial for breaking and entering from jail eventually before heading stay. Today we're kind of busy. No, they're making lunch plans, Phoenix. Chief Gant is saying that the judge is going to have to buy lunch next time. Ah. Hey, now. That's generally true. Phoenix, you're not helping yourself. I did carry in the evidence. when Raido's prints are found. I mean... Okay. How dare he use the law about his personal property in his defense? How dare he? What was he thinking? Purely hypothetical. I mean, I don't know what's with the what's with the air quotes around when, but okay. Evidently not. But he couldn't have. As long as you can't rule that out, your remarks will only succeed in wasting time. Hmm. I mean, I can sort of rule it out. I can prove that the vase existed before Dark was murdered. I can't prove that it was broken before he was murdered. Or before Dark was convicted, rather. benefit. I mean, you became chief of police. possible motivation for you to commit forger forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, you did it for someone else. That's true. Fudgery. Now I want fudge. Damn it. Oh, oh, he's going to amend his testimony to say that he only cares about protecting himself, and then we're going to present him with the cloth with Emma's fingerprints on it and say, then what about this, fucker? I'm psychic. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. What about this, fucker? 
Oh. Alright, fine. I was wrong. Explain yourself. I felt sorry for her, you better think again. Mm-hmm. Well, he is neither crime nor people, so... Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness... If it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Okay. Where are we going with this, Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix, where are we going with this? Who is this person you believe Chief Gant may have helped forge evidence? It's either Emma or Lana, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Who would want to help her more than her own sister? Yeah. Lana wanted to help her. Gant helped Lana help Emma. Okay, okay. That way he would have Lana in his back pocket for the entire time that he's chief of police. Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor, which meant the chief of police had something over on the chief prosecutor. unchecked authority over all investigations. Yeah. Metaphorically speaking, Your Honor. Metaphorically speaking. Yes. There you go. Good work. Keep up, Aji. Keep up. Mm-hmm. I have any proof of this. Uh Damn it, I hate it when the witness says prove it. <laughs> because we can never actually prove it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Unless that is also what happened in this incident. Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Mm-hmm. That's true. Well, it's what we think. And this deep in the case, it's, it's almost certainly true. We just have to, you know, prove it. Yes, and... Yes, and exclamation point AC, your honor. Phoenix, shut up. You're right. Both with a W and with an R. Have some spine in your voice. Spine in your voice? That's not a thing. Put some bass in your voice, Phoenix. K. 
Can you prove this, that the chief is involved in this murder? Not really. Um, you can try. Mm-hmm. Put some balls in your sack. Yes. Let's see what he's got. Oh, boy. Show us the evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. I'm thinking it's the... Do, 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 do. The ID card record, right? Because the ID card record puts you in... Well, the ID card record puts you in the evidence room. Ahead of Edgeworth and Meekins. Okay. <laughs> Save hands clapping, scumming hands clapping. Is hands clapping, valid hands clapping? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got him in the room. Uh, can we see your card, sir? May we see your card? Okay, that's not a good answer, Phoenix. No, this is not a good answer. It's a, it's a coincidence. He can just say, he can say that's just a coincidence. He can say that's just a coincidence. It is, in fact, listen, it is, in fact, very stupid for Chief Gant to have the combination to his safe be the same as his badge number. Because his badge number is like... Not quite publicly available information, but definitely the kind of information that a bunch of people could get a hold of if they really wanted to. So, if you want to keep your safe totally, you know, safe, you shouldn't have the combination to your safe be a string of numbers that a handful of people can get hold of if they want to. He may be smart, but he is apparently also dumb and quite angry, given the shaking of that fist. Just say it's a coincidence, Damon. That's true. That's actually true. We literally broke the law. Not evidence law, but, um, anyway. No, Miles, okay, apparently in Neo San for Tokyo, you can present evidence that is acquired through an illegal search, and it's just fine. Which, you know, good to know. What about it? I'm chief of police. I can go anywhere I want. Mm hmm. Of course not. Why would he be? I hadn't seen him in days. You had to have met with Detective Gooden because SL9 was going through the transferal process, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> thou shalt not break... It's true, Jazzy. Thou shalt not break into the chief of police's office is not here. Like, you know, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. You could argue that the chief of police would not approve of evidence presented if you broke into his office, but 
it's definitely relevant to the case. So fuck you, Damon! What transpired during that meeting? Why murder, as it happens? Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the crime. Well... Uh, Bruce, you were murdered on the 21st, weren't you? Do we have an autopsy report for you? Yeah! Oh, even better! Wait, no, he didn't actually... He didn't actually go. Because he didn't actually fill it out. But, still. I mean, I've got this thing that says it can only be submitted to the chief of police, but he didn't actually submit it. So... Maybe? Yes! Okay, fine. You know, I, I feel like this thing that he didn't actually submit is at least as good as the note talking about the evidence transferal, but it's the last case of the trilogy. I'm not going to shit on the game unless it pulls some really wild bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A point of order, Phoenix. That report is not actually submitted. Gant has a point. That's a good question. Well, he... Mmm. Mmm. My tongue hurts from biting it. Sure. Let's go with that. Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Could have. Why are you giving him that, Damon? Or, Judge? Judge Baldhead? Okay, Edgeworth has a point. Edgeworth does have a point. Oh! Oh! Oh, hi, Damon! You do that? Oh! Oh, that's nice! I'm a, I'm a fan of that! Oh, jeez! Okay, then! After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. To dispose of Goodman's body. Miles, how did he get in your car? By the way. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Wait, 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 wait. He had. Objection. He had somebody, some mook, some Meekins shaped mook, probably not actually Meekins because he was disposable, but he had somebody put the body in Edgeworth's car then told Edgeworth to drop off the screwdriver. You remember the screwdriver that I said had to be the, 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 the crux of the case somehow? Well, this is, the, this is the somehow. He planted the body in Edgeworth's car. 
he told Lana, hey, Lana, there's a body in Edgeworth's car. I need you to stab it. He then told Edgeworth to take the screwdriver back to the prosecutor's office. Yes! That's it. No, you didn't have to do that. Damon, you didn't have to do that. All this time, I thought it was a useless clue just taking up space. Hey, I still get credit for being ahead of the game, even if I'm only three text boxes ahead of the game. But I was ahead of the game. Show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, Chief Gant used a screwdriver. And we're all going to be like, he used a screwdriver? What do you mean? It's a big body, Phoenix. Ha, ha, ha. And then we're going to hoist him by his own slot-headed petard. Hoist him by his slot-headed petard. What is this screwdriver doing here? Miles just figured it out. Chief Gant had him take a screwdriver. <laughs> you didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office, but you did because he needed a screwdriver delivered. would you have asked? Yep. Probably don't have you, but feels like I got you. not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk. It's a photo of her lifting the lid. Uh-oh. Yeah, but... the right to refuse to testify. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not invoking it casually. He's, he's invoking it to avoid being convicted of murder, Your Honor. If you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it. Well... I mean, um, well, you see, I felt really good about that screwdriver. Now I kind of feel like I need a screwdriver. Proof the Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Sky depose of his body. Or dispose, even. You can't take a sworn statement from a body. I don't think we do. Do I have any concrete proof? I don't have shit. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Oh, boy. Hmm. 
Man, I hope I didn't just unlock the bad ending of the trilogy. Did I just unlock the bad ending of the trilogy? Maybe we should have a word with Lady Luck. Oh ho! Is Miles suggesting that we call Lana? We'll get someone else to testify, Phoenix! One more witness who can answer all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Edgeworth can't call witnesses. He already said he wouldn't. The defense is the one calling witnesses today. I mean, it's gotta be Lana. It's gotta be Lana. Defense calls forth. The defense calling the defendant to testify is probably the most normal thing that's ever happened in a Phoenix Wright courtroom and is going to be presented as wildly out of touch with reality because, you know. In accordance with a certain someone's orders... All right. The court will now take its final recess. It's the final recess. Do, 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 do. Etc. We will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. Oh. Oh, hi. Terrible consequences. I, this, how is this not, like, obviously, obviously intimidating the witness? This is obstruction of justice. This man should go to prison for what he's doing right now in full view of God and the judge and everyone. He is intimidating a witness. He might as well just, you know, he might as well point at the fancy drapes in the courtroom and say, Eh, hey, these are some uh, pretty nice curtains you got here, Judge. Be a shame if something was to uh, happen to him. A wink. He's not being subtle. He's not being subtle. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Well, he's blackmailing. He's committing blackmail right now. Cons conspiracy to obstruct justice. Obstruction of justice. Tampering with a witness. Uh, interfering with the course of a trial. <laughs> Throw this man behind bars. Throw this man behind bars. Ah, <sighs> fine, fine, I suppose we're not going to throw that man behind bars, but for the people on YouTube, we will take one last break next time, next time, probably, is the final episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Goodbye.